in those uh, very powerful hours, in those very deep and meaningful days that we're going through so much and every individual is so close to, to the rest of the world and we see the souls are bonding and people care much more for each other and really worried about the sake of the world. And um, with no doubt, except for some uh, crazy haters that are uh, wasting their time on talking nonsense on social media and terrorizing and making people scared, the majority of people are expecting and hoping for redemption, hoping and wishing for salvation. And um, we should remember this uh, simple rule that positive mindset is the spiritual connection to God and that negative mindset is the filthy and dark connection to the evil inclination. No matter who is the person that is talking to you, as long as be as as long as he being negative and uh, self-centered and selfish and evil and bad and talking harsh or like depressing you and breaking your spirit you should remind yourself that he is now for you a messenger of the yetzara of the evil inclination therefore you should not follow his advice but when you hear a person that is talking in a positive mindset and that person is able to plant hope in your heart and bringing joy and, and more trust and happiness and satisfaction um, and stability to your mind, to your heart, you need to listen to that person and to grab his advice like a, like a nice uh, warm cupcake, like a nice uh, um, delicious food that um, that is an opportunity for you to grow and to enjoy that message and this is why we um, fall so many times to follow the advice of of dark forces the reason for that is our low self-esteem when we hear someone talks and that person is able to say and quote some verses uh, by heart immediately we think to ourselves Oh man, that person is so gifted, so talented, he's a scholar, he's a wise person, he's a genius, whatever. And you give him the credit to, uh, to lead you into dark places. But you as an individual have the power of free choice. And if you feel that the message that is coming through that person is negative and dark and not right for you, even if you're not as... Uh, learned as him even if you don't remember so many verses as him even if you don't have uh, thousands of followers or whatever it, it doesn't mean that you need to listen to his advice because he's accepted by others or because that other people are um, following him you have your own um, system of senses and tools to sift and to clarify and to choose right from wrong and good from bad and light from darkness and you should use those senses that have been given to you to follow an illuminating advice and a path of happiness and joy for you and for your loved ones a person that is following darkness is a person that has a low self-esteem he thinks that he cannot think on his own he thinks that he cannot choose right and therefore he gives the leadership to someone else to lead him instead of him choosing the path that he will walk upon. Every person been created in the shape of God. God planted a godly, highly soul inside our bodies and an inner place of quiet um, will bring us to hear those loud silent voices of spirituality coming from within and when you're going to access that inner channel channel of yours and you're going to reach that amazing endless spring of wisdom inside of you you will have such a fantastic soothing relaxing amazing feeling of comfort and you will come to to that real comforting understanding that 
that the Creator cares about you and walking hand in hand and step by step with you and He hugs you and He fills you from within and He is the one who brings all your life situations in, in, in a individual and precise supervision to uplift you and to bring you to a point of attachment with Him for you to experience eternity with Him and a person in his life, in every moment of memory of the existence of the Creator, he is creating a link with the Creator. Every moment that you did something good, every moment that you attached yourself to the real, true, positive purpose of your life, you attached yourself in that moment to infinity. And when the redemption will take place, not only the current time of the present, will be redeemed also all the points of time that you went through in life in the past that you experienced the goodness the kindness of the creator in those will be redeemed as well means that the redemption the salvation will take us to a dimension that is above time therefore we will not be redeemed only in our current time we will be redeemed also in our past. Also in the past situations of our lives, we will be redeemed. It means that every situation that we went through in life, every moment that we attached ourselves to God in the past, will be a moment of an eternal attachment in the future. And we shall experience that moment of redemption with all its consequences and outcomes eternally. It means that if, for an example, a person kept 1,000 mitzvot, did 1,000 great things, he will have 1,000 channels of glory to eternity in the world to come. And if a person did million great things with his, in his lifetime, so he will have million attachments to infinity. And so and so. Every person that did something good in that moment he attached himself to goodness and to greatness and to holiness and to godliness and he will enjoy eternity through that moment in time it's an access it's a window that will exist forever for good for him to enjoy the beauty and greatness of god now it's written that the righteous ones will enjoy Shai Olamot, 310 worlds, means that they will access the godliness and the holiness through 310 worlds. And the ones who are attached to the true Messiah, to the one that is the complete soul of Adam and Eve, they by the force of the true Messiah, will enjoy not only 310 worlds, they will enjoy the links and the connections of all the worlds that exist. Because He, the soul of the true Messiah, He is a general soul that includes inside of Himself all the rest of the souls. So souls that are gigantic, that are very, very large and big, will inherit 310 worlds. To be attached to the Creator through every angle and every cell of every particle of every world of those 310 worlds, it's an enormous reward. But the soul of Mashiach, that is the soul of Adam Arishon and his wife Eve, he, they are a general soul that includes all those souls together in him. Therefore, the ones who are attached to the Messiah, to the soul of Adam, they will enjoy all the rewards of all the righteous ones as one. I hope you got that message and I hope you understand what in the world I'm talking about. And I bless you that your eyes will deliver the news 
and that your heart will be the vessel to contain and maintain the blessing of heaven, and that you will never lack a thing, and that you will rise and shine and talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend, and attach and connect yourselves to goodness and to happiness and to all good attributes that exist, and that all people on earth will praise God and thank Him with a happy heart and a wishing soul in our days for the complete redemption. Amen. Can you hear that song?